Hello everyone and welcome in my next video. This is the first one of the Art of Avengers in Avalon series. While working on Avengers in Avalon, I made a lot of sketches, most of them not used or even seen before. This is one of the sketches of Tinkerbell that I made back in 2018. The first thing I always do before transferring my art is to scan it. To make the scan sharper, I put some good old Lovecraft on top. Here is the scan in Photoshop. Before I print the sketch, I make a quick line art in a new layer to make the drawing more readable for when I put it on the light pad. In the past I used carbon paper for transferring artwork to a new piece of paper, but these transfers could become very smudgy and the end result could only be revealed when the carbon paper was pulled away from the piece. I find that a light pad works far more efficient since you can see what you are doing. At the end I always accentuate some lines to make the line work more diverse and livelier. Once finished with the line work, it is time for the watercolors. I always use two cups of water, one to clean my brush in and the other to take fresh water to activate or dilute colors. For this piece I use synthetic sable brushes. I like to use synthetic brushes since they hold more water, have a sharp tip and I know that no animals were harmed in the process of making these brushes. First I start with a blue tone. This color will be applied in most parts where there will be shadow to give the upcoming layers more depth. With watercolors it is always good to remember that these starting colors do not have to be the same colors where you finish the painting with. And now for the skin tones. For the skin I use a mix of warm reds and yellow ochres. There are multiple combinations possible for achieving skin tones, but I think that this combination gives a pleasing and warm effect. I splash on drops of diluted paint and then use a wet on dry pulling technique. This way I can control which part stays light and which have more pigment or shadow. The 
The trick is to keep adding new layers until the skin looks good enough for the time being. I remember that for me Tinkerbell was one of the most difficult characters to work on. In the media she is even more iconic than Peter Pan. For my Tinkerbell I wanted to give her an otherworldly fairy vibe. This I did by playing with her proportions and giving her dark eyes. It was especially hard to find the sweet spot between looking strange and outlandish but still looking pleasant, friendly and familiar for the eyes. It is time to move on to the hair. Blonde hair can be pretty difficult to paint. I already experienced this when I was making drawings of Peter Pan. With watercolors it is important to work from light to darker tones. Remember, there is always an ugly face when working on a piece. While the hair is drying, I move back to the skin to retouch certain parts and bring more detail to her face. Once the whole painting is dried, I use pencils to make new and sharper details. At the end, I use a gel roller pen to bring back some highlights. At the end, I use a gel roller pen to bring back some highlights. After a short break, I continued for a little bit on the portrait and this is how the drawing turned out. That was it for this video, I hope you liked it. For more info on the art book, check out my other videos. As always, feel free to comment or subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.